set being played by the by the young man, but ultimately will hop out just short of top eight. An infinite omega running production. Thank you, uh, thank you for doing so. And joining me on camera at this time, he's been on commentary for a minute, is Summer Haze. So we're going to see now Uno taking on uh, Dan the Man. I feel like I've been on here for a hot minute. You have, man. Sure. You've been doing your work. Right? Ugh. But not as much work as the players in this bracket, I tell you, man. We got some good I, – I, like, I love the talent we, we see coming out here like every week. Definitely, I would not be sleeping on anybody in this region. Absolutely, and Uno versus Dan Give the Man. One momento. I Well, in the meantime, as we get this set out, sorted out, excuse me. <laughs> and now, uh-oh, Flare Blitz off the side. Dan the Man essentially conceding that stock. And Uno will receive the... Uh, Advantage numero uno in this best of five matchup. This loser's quarterfinal. Uno and Dan the Man doing well to get this far. Yeah. You know, I, I, I wish I looked at the bracket right now and see who else they had to fight to make it here. Well, Uno, uh, he, I think, wound up losing to Blazing Pasta in order to get oh, here, yeah. and he had to fight his way here. Dan the Man, as we saw in winner's semifinal, went down to... Uh, to 6WX. Them. And it wound up, did well to take a game off of him, but ultimately not nearly enough. Yo, some part some part of me likes to think that, oh my god, that was killed him right there. Oh some my. part of me likes to think that when Uno and Wes take, both take out the same person in bracket, they just go home in the same carpool and just start chuckling. <laughs> yeah, you think so? <laughs> oh, back here. Yet again, not going to take it against the Inkling. Yeah, this inkling sticking and moving right now, oh. proving to be more than a more than Damn. just a kid and a squid, also a threat to Dan the Man's tournament hopes here. The kid and squid and Uno looking for that down smash switched Ooh. out just in time. Oh, he's, well, this is getting really close right here. And you know, this type ink type pretty effective against the Ivy Sword's grass type here. Yo, nice. All right. We good. So the rest of losers quarterfinal on the other side will be Travesty taking on uh, Beast. As to, we saw uh, Beast mm. winning uh, against Psychedelic by a score of three to two. And Uno wound up beating Wawa Peach Moosh the, and Moosh the Moosh in uh, loser's bracket in order to get here. So some stiff competition that he had to take out, but of course, having gone down in the winner's quarterfinal to, uh, to Blazing Pasta, certainly has uh, retribution on his mind here. See, and while you were schooling us all about the bracket, I don't know if you noticed, I just saw like three jabs in a row that all like just bounced off <laughs> uh, Dan's shield. Yeah, that, uh, that, that tends funny. to be the case. I mean, that <laughs> inking mechanic is uh, pretty darn effective, but at the same time, if you shield it just right, you are uh, generally okay. True. And just out of, uh, he's trying to get him in disadvantage so he can refill that tank and Yep. Oh, this is the last Reload stop. Those plethora of options that he it. has. Sitting at 109 and mm. the desperation to get back on the stage. Perhaps the undoing of Uno in this game number one. Dan the Man is going to take it. And uh, that Charizard game of Dan the Man's nothing with which to be reckoned. Dan sets up the high recovery, calls it out, and just whoops him right with the back here right there. Closes out that game. Gave that was game one. Yeah, gave him the clap back. Mm -hmm. And... Is we're going to have, uh, I think Travesty and Beast is going on off uh, off stream, yeah, I believe. That looks like it's an off stream match. Uh, so I, I I book enough matches to know that that looks like an off stream match right there. The Palutena <laughs> versus uh, Pokemon Trainer. We do have another uh, a potential Pokemon Trainer ditto if Dan the Man can take out the uh, the former PR Uno. Indeed, I believe current PR. Now that I think about it. 
Yep. Yeah, there you go. Currently Sitting PR. Ten. Uno is strong. I want. I just want to emphasize that because Uno is one of the smartest players that I know in this region. And Agreed. I feel like for a while he was always kind of slept on just because, you know, lack of attendance. But, you know, he's coming in strong for ultimate and he's been showing himself. And the thing, I, I get the feeling, and this is me editorializing, which is really not my place as a broadcaster, I don't believe. But at the same time, I feel as if he wouldn't be slept on as much if he were related to anyone other than 6WX. And it's an unfortunate reality. It's like, you know, you become known as 6WX's yeah, brother. Kinda, That's not... It, you, you get caught in his shadow a little bit, I, I must say. But you know what? Wes... Uh, not Wes. <laughs> Uno, not Wes. Wow! As always. <laughs> wow! Oh, my. Uh, the, the absolute... Th that that uh, was a... Uh, uh, disrespect. Oh, man. How dare you? Uno has shown himself enough to set himself apart from his brother, for sure. Obviously, the superior driver. Shout out to Uno for taking us here. <laughs> they, oh, oh, he's taking you. Oh, he took you here. Well, actually, no, Wes took us here. Oh. But oh, okay. he, well, Uno was picking us last either, night. Either way, good luck getting a ride back as he takes stock number one in this game oh. number two. You know, I'm going to stop talking right now before I, <laughs> before I start walking home. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, you live far, man. Oh, uh, I what? found that out. Oh, the down air Woo! from Uno with style. Yo, that was – yo, Uno be looking nice. Mm, yo, that was good. That was real good, I got to say. To line up that Ivysaur's, like, up that up B with his spike, that takes skill. That takes yeah. knowing your character. And not only that, there is quite a bit of startup with that down air. It oh, takes yeah. A you got to know the frames. Like oh. – Knowing the f knowing the speed at which that comes out is so important. The lineup, clutch moments like we just saw right there. He did, and he connected with uh, with feeling mm. that down smash. Not quite going to take it. Yo, whether, Sitting at 150, that's a lot of rage for that down smash. Whether or not Uno connect. dies before he takes his stock against Dan, that doesn't matter because he's already made himself like he he's shown that he knows what's up. There you go, the boots. To the neck of Dan the Man, and indeed a three stock victory for okay. Uno. Uno just came back strong as hell. Like game that was one a was statement, close, right? That wasn't even a game two. That was a statement from three, Uno. A three stock statement. Yeah, it really a statement to the tune of three stocks. That is one way to do it. And frankly, uh, that stock number two, that was uh, that was him taking the driver's seat of this set saying okay you know what I saw you game number one but here's the thing this is my stage this is my game you're going to play my way and indeed he did taking the driver's seat and then some and now Dan the man uh, he's gonna have to rest the control right back from the Philly PR player as we go to Kalos for game number three. Oh yeah we got Matt we have Matt control from Uno coming out from that last game and you know what makes you wonder how is Dan's gonna respond back? He's playing he's playing Squirtle like at the start here. <laughs> Both are super fast characters. They just wanna get in your face with these short hitboxes. And now is uh is Bla we have uh, we have Blazing Pasta in the back room watching his potential competition though, however, he does have an opponent yep. in his way in winners final, six WX. So a definite statement game. For him as well, taking out a person who was ranked as the 34th best player in the world of Smash 4. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Wes is always insistent too. I mean, what Wes was always on the PGR. He never fell off once, and you know that's really a testament to his consistency as a player. Absolutely. I mean, uh, such a stalwart force Ooh. in both the Philadelphia and international scenes. The flare blitz coming out from Dan yo, the Man. We, we, were talking about, stage. we were talking about Wes, but Uno's out here like, yo, you just got done saying not to underplay me. You better watch what I'm doing, like, for real. <laughs> oh, no, he has that Charizard up to 170%. He is living to a pretty high uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, once oh, that again. high ceiling of Kalos oh, yeah. coming into play. Once again, we find, we find Inkling in a very familiar situation where, there you, you know, oh. Inkling in 5%, but finding kills is harder than it looks, but, you know, Uno still made it look good. He still made it look possible. When he connects, he connects harder. She, in this case, it is a mm. word. It's a, it's a kid or a squid, not necessarily a boy or girl. Kid or a squid. Kids yeah. are their kid is gender neutral. Yeah, ki as kid, a squid. Kids are their own gender now. Absolutely, right. squid kid. Yo, nerd, a nerd, a fair. Yo, <laughs> did, we got bread and butter up the wazoo. Did you just ask if squid kid was a gender? What? No, <laughs> I said I said kids are their own gender now. Oh, gotcha. Fair enough. 
No, and, and I, uh, I I dig that. Okay, right. I'm down. Also, I would like to say for a counter pick stage, this is looking good for Uno. Like, Uno can set up Splat Bomb on the sides of this stage like pretty well, which honestly pretty like limits that limits like characters like recovery for for Dan right here. So, ooh, yeah, this being Dan's coming. counter pick, so I'm a little questionable about this. Yeah, I mean, there can be no doubt in Dan's mind that he is a deserving player here in this top eight. Mm -hmm. However, neutral air. Ooh, Dan Uno was trying to line that up. Ends Ooh. it up getting it. It is two stocks of two right now, but that could very well change in just a hot minute. Wait, is this about, and he piled up 83 points worth of damage, and Dan the man before that, I'm pretty sure it was about to be a zero to death. Oh, yeah. Back throw. We have the Powerful charge Zard, Zard fire coming out. Going to set up for maybe a potential spike, but no, no, he just opts to go for the safe option there. Yeah, discretion being the better part of Valor for Dan the Man, the Flare Blitz. He was looking for Uno to meet him in the skies. Yep. Does not have the vertical recovery to make it back, and just like that, Unfo one stock remaining in this game, number Un three. Unfortunate for Dan right there, having the air dodge whiff right out of that up uh, side B. So that's going to send him down to the blast zone, and we have ourselves a, a bit of an even game. It's pretty even, I'd say. Still a dock deficit, but he can bring it back quick. Good DI to avoid the kill there. And, of course, the high ceiling of Kalos coming into play as well. However, back airs, just to get him off stage, just to establish a little bit of stage control. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, being able to dictate the movement with those splat bombs doesn't exactly hurt either, especially and, when you're going up against And this is good for Uno. He's taking his – Uno was taking his time <laughs> finding his opening. He was, he was playing neutral, very smart. They're just dashing back, looking for something. Dan gave him just a little bit of wiggle room, and Uno's taking it a mile. Going to take him off stage. Oh, this could be close. Oh, does the spot right. dodge, and then the up smash. Dan, the man, he's not playing with any fear. you got to give him credit, but there's a whole lot of ink on him. Oh, and yeah. the up air is going to take it, Uno. He has the two to one advantage. Dan the man, he's gonna yep. have to respond and respond fast. Yeah, Dan might be at his last as he might be pulling out strings right here. Cause he's on his last game if he does not clutch this out. Yeah, and uh Uno. I won't go back to Kalos here. I, I would not take Uno to Kalos. He set up spot bombs on the side pretty easy. Right. No, he can't. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So uh Battlefield is not a bad choice. I'd s for Pokemon Trainer, I really, I'm not really sure what kind of what kind of stages you want to go with. I feel like there's so many different styles you can play Pokemon Trainer in. It's more of a comfort pick with what character you like best. I feel like, I feel like Battlefield might help Mount Landing wise if he's playing Zard. So yeah, I, I can see it. Yeah, the the thing is though, I mean, the win condition against Pokemon Trainer, at least as it tends to, at least as it stands right now is to uh, make it so that your best character is uh, more or less neutralized. This play against the strengths of that character really does test the versatility of you as a player. And Uno mm -hmm. right now doing uh, doing his absolute darndest to make sure that the zoning game of Ivysaur is not a factor, the Splat Bombs. And even though it's uh, he has a very good Charizard, one could argue that the Ivysaur is the star of Dan the Man's team. Oh yeah, like we saw, we see him go from Squirtle to Ivysaur to. Uh, oh, he, play, he didn't play Squirtle, Squirtle, did he? Did he start with Squirtle? Uh, I mean, we've seen him play it a little bit, but it's really more yeah. for that uh, tacking oh. on the incidental damage. Yeah. But Paint the Booyah combo, mm. the Splat Roller into Ink Brush. Oh, please don't call it a Booyah. Why not? <laughs> That's so. It's so lame. It's so corny. It's, it's like either that or the Woomy. The Woomy? Yes. Why the Woomy? All right, all right. Clearly, Summer Haze is not the freshest squid on the block. I am not illiter. I am very illiterate when it comes to squid terminology. Uh, I'll say that. Are I, you a squitterit? I'm a still squitterit. I'm a bit squitterit. All right. All I right, think you whatever. just my, my my resume is inked. Uh, whatever you say. All right. Oh, Ooh, I mean, yo, speaking of uh -oh. inked, yo, you're looking yeah, at yeah. Oh my gosh, you're talking about inked, yo. <laughs> I never seen this color. I, this this color of Kasi before for him, uh, for Zard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about to say you never saw that color ink. You clearly weren't around for gel pens, my man. Mm. I was about to say you remember gel pens. Ooh, gel if you pens remember gel nice. pens, give Bros Calamity a follow. But 
I think I remember gel pens. Yeah, they were. Those were a thing. They were indeed. Oh man. Oh my god. All right, it's two sets of two, by the way. So like, definitely, I would actually call this the game even. If Dan gets in off stage at all, like he is right now, it could be rough though. Oh, trying to provide that shield pressure, yeah. but man, no pressure like the blaster. A lot of, a lot of force behind that, and the inertia of that blaster is going to blast away the second stock of Dan the Man's, who's now in his tournament stock. If he's not careful here, mm. but he's getting right into these jabs, which of course just allow that damage to get piled on so much faster. Uno. Yep. Oppressive right now in the mm. face of every single thing that Dan the man is trying to throw out. All right, question is how will Dan make it back? He rolls for the second time in a row. Is this about to be? Oh no, I was about to say it was if this was a zero to death. Yeah. All right, Uno looking for the roller right there. Didn't quite catch him that time. And how will Uno make it back? That's the real question because Uno is already on the side of the stage and he is taking a lead. One now, hell of a lead, actually. Establishing stage control until that up smash. There's only so much you can do in the face of that. But yep. he has him at 170. Splat bomb. Air dodges, that's however. Yeah. Oh, that's beautifully done. The end lag on the air dodge, mm -hmm. allowing him to not be able to up B fast far enough. And that's going to be how Uno advances to the tune uh, of a 3-1 victory you know, in Dan, this quarterfinal. That's true. Dan thought he could make it back safe with that. With the air dodge to, stay, to ledge, but was just just came up a little bit short for Zard. So Un you hate to see it happen, but you know what? Good stuff to both players. Dan did a good performance, and Uno was just that much better.